Kins, congrats on the new deal. How happy are you to be re-signing? Yeah, really happy. Um, I think in my heart, I always wanted to stay here. I'm um, happy that the gaffer and the board have uh, managed to, to get the deal over the line with me. And as a club, it's an extended season last season. How do you reflect on it, both as a team and individually? Um, as a team, I think we, we, we started OK and got through. Obviously, it was just outside the playoffs and then a couple of games where we just let it slip. And then I think we, we ended the season not in a, in a, a good position. Um, but individually, it was, it, was, it was tough, really tough for the first, obviously, six months. And then when I finally got on the pitch, uh, I was really happy and I played the last 14 games, so I was really pleased with that. Of course, our latest centurion and someone who arguably knows the club better than most people around here. That must be good for people who we're trying to bring in and look to bring into the club to improve on last season. Yeah, definitely. I think I know the, like, the club inside out and I've made a lot of friends here, uh, people that are still here and people that ain't. Um, so I'd like to think that I can lead by example next year and, and basically show all the new players and the players that have been in before what it's like to play for Aldershot Town. And of course the injury last season that we spoke about as well, we saw you make your return towards the end of the season. Is that all put behind you now and how do you feel going into next season? Yeah, I feel fit. As, fit. Um, the surgeon said like there's 95% chance I won't do do that ligament again. I think I feel like there's a little bit of a, a question mark hanging over my head as, as is, he, is he injury prone? Is he going to, like for me, I, I want to play 46 games next year. All of, I want to play in all of them. Um, I don't want that injury prone question mark over my head. I want to be the one that's there uh, playing every game, putting in the performances I was when I first come here. Um, I just want to prove a lot of people wrong as well. You also want to be successful as a team as well, knowing, as other, knowing you as I do. Yeah, definitely. I want to win no matter what, whether it's five sides in training, whether it's a finishing drill, no matter what, I want to win. Um, when I first come to this football club, we were in the playoffs pr pushing for promotion. I, I want to be in a team like that again that's, that's pushing. And hopefully Danny and, and Anwar and Mikey, we can build a team from, from the change room, we can build a team that's, that's challenging. And do you think that mentality will change next season going into that? Do you think it'll be, a, not positive, but more of an aspirational season going into next year? Yeah, I, I look at a lot of teams that have gone up and not, not all of them are down to budget. If you look at Sutton, look at Hartlepool, look at Barrow last year, I think all three of them teams had a massive togetherness. I think that's massive. Um, so hopefully that we can... The boys that are staying from last year can be the core members of the, the team this year and we can build a real good squad. And you mentioned the manager as well, how much of an influence was it him being here and staying on for two years and you signing on next year? Yeah, no, Danny's been brilliant for me, he's, 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 he's tried to play me as much as he can and he's supported me through my injury, so um, yeah, no, the staff have, have, have been brilliant, so to play under Gaffer for another season is good. And just finally, what are your targets and goals for next season? I think, like I said earlier, to play 46 games would be a target for me. Um, to try and get my first goal for Aldershot would be good. Um, keep chipping in with assists and, and try and improve the, the defensive record and, and keep a lot, a lot more clean sheets. Are you in the shop? Sign up below. Subscribe. Click here for the next video and click here to subscribe. Ah.